happen. But here we go into game number one. Demon Island. So Grichibu on the Lin Fei. Stingray on the Black Knight going into game one. It is Spear Lance versus Guitars Cannon. I mean, I. This is a pretty unusual matchup as far as Brawlhalla goes. I'm really excited to see how these two players go against each other because Stingray, by all means, favored historically to win this match and go forward to fight up against Pugsy. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. I mean, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how this plays out here. But Gucci Bo, Ooh. I mean, they're definitely here for a good reason, but Stingray, obviously, a player with a reputation behind them and for good reason as they take a nice, strong lead to get things started. Oh, but there's the neutral. I tries to get the Nair afterwards, and he can't follow it up. And that weapon spawn, punished by the D Light Nair avoids the neutral air from the Lance and continues just hitting with a flurry of guitar attacks. Mm -hmm. Neutral Snake dodge straight up, down air, gets the side off the Ooh. stage, and the weapon throw doesn't even need it. He falls right off the left side, and Guichibu takes the first stock of game one. Hey, man, it's definitely one thing we've noticed with Brawlhalla all weekend is you can have the strongest of starts, but that doesn't mean jack as we move forward here. But is going to be able to take the stock to even things up, really only taking a little bit of damage as well, just barely sneaking into the yellow. But that's still enough of a lead for Guichibu to try and keep this going. Oh, yeah, and we can see there Pogo's coming up from Stingray. Damage is looking pretty even. The downstick was a great job to adapt there, but I love these dodge aways. Uh, a lot of the time, Stingray and Spear players in general mm -hmm. will want to get those down lights to catch people out of the sky, and Gucci was positioning for it and then dodging diagonally away every time they tries to go for it. And now with the cannon being switched over to here, Stingray gets a nice D-light side air. Gucci Boo can't land with the downers, and the side stick gets punished by the side light pivot Ooh. double D-light recovery. That's as much as you could possibly push for off of a dodge read on the Spear. Great job from Stingray, but will the, first, the second Let's talk to Guichibo again. It's looking like it right now. Guichibo's doing a fantastic job of just keeping that pressure up. Goes for the SIG just raw right after throwing the cannon. Not going to be able to find it, but keeping Stingray weapon star Ooh. is absolutely huge here to try and keep this momentum in your favor. Okay, good stuff there. Trying to keep them pressured towards the edge of the stage. It's been a while since I've seen a player really uh, implement the stop and wait in Brawlhalla, where I've seen Guichibo many times with the weapon. Like, there's a huge flurry of attacks that go back and forth. Both players are doing a ton of damage. And then he does this. <laughs> and Stingray is adapting to it pretty well. The gravity cancel neutral stick catches him off guard. And Guichibu was not able to react fast enough. That neutral stick will take him off the top. But it, it is a uh, legitimate strategy to put all of your effort, all of your focus, into trying to react to something that you normally couldn't if you were doing a bunch of other inputs. Exactly. But right now, I mean, it's interesting to see that Stingray is kind of just opting to go with the spear as, as much as possible. It has to be due to the fact of how much faster that is than a rocket lance mm. to be able to answer this high dexterity coming out from Guichibo. But man, Guichibo doing a good job. I mean, they are a little bit behind here in the health department, but <laughs> the momentum behind them right now is definitely looking pretty good. This cannon gameplay is on fire. Whoa. Look at this one. Oh, baby. Yeah, that side lane almost led to the down air, but Stingray gets out, weapon throw down, gets punched for the side lane, he does Ooh. a dash back, resets the side lane, doesn't get the delay afterwards, but that down sig covers a dodge to the right and a dodge to a left. Either way, Guichibu chose wrong, and he goes off the left side, and Stingray takes game number one. Really close set between the two, but Skip, I think so far Stingray has been winning a lot of these engagements a lot more than Guichibu. Mm -hmm. Guichibu's just been taking the stocks a lot earlier, and we have the stats to our left to prove that with the 611 damage dealt compared to the 490 damage taken. Yes, yes. Uh, definitely going to be interesting to see how this plays out as we go right back to Demon Island here. Now, honestly, pretty relatively even game one. It's just that towards the end, Stingray kind of really clutched that one out. It just kind of looked strong the whole way through. Now we're seeing a little bit of that Rocket Lance, which I feel like was completely absent in game one here. Yeah, uh, favor the spear because when he had the spear, he was getting four to five hits off of it. Mm -hmm. Why uh, fix something that's not broken? Guichibu, on the other hand, uh, playing relatively the same regardless of the weapon that he's against. Cannon picked up, neutral sig punished by that side air, but the down sig, expecting a landing, doesn't punish it, and he gets hit for it. And both players here are really trying to see who can get something started first. Neutral sig Ooh. hits. Remember, though, Lin Fei, that three force, you have to continue saying those, okay, well, I mean, <laughs> three force doesn't matter if you hit him with a haymaker in the face off the side of the stage. Okay, Guichibu. <laughs> He's going to be sweating here. Yeah, he's definitely trying to make some plays here and just barely missing the mark, which honestly is a little upsetting if I'm Guichibo because that's a huge lead that you could really be pushing into your favor even further. Like, if they were actually getting that first edge guard, this could probably be like orange damage that they put on this entire time now. Yeah, I, li I like how uh, he used the neutral signature there. Mm -hmm. Linfei neutral sig, the dragon that shows up after the slash is not just for show. There's a hitbox there that's active the entire time until the maw comes out. And he tried to catch Stingray off guard with it, doesn't get up at that time, gets the D-Light neutral to take him off the top and take the lead in game two. But Skip, last time we saw in game one, 
Richibu had the lead the entire time, and then Stingray just popped off on the last dog, ended with a down sig, and he took the game. Let's see if he can get some extra credit this time around. Yeah, definitely going to be trying to work towards it here. One for a weapon toss and getting rid of the Whoa. only weapons they've had for like the past 30 seconds or so, losing the stock in the process. But you know what? That's not too bad. You could have got a little more damage here to put that lead into your advantage that much better. But you know what? You, you try to give what you can. And now it's just even stocks. And Gucci Bo starting to get the cannon back to their hands here once again. And that's the thing. It's like when they have Ooh. this cannon out, their combo gameplay has been very, very crisp. Yeah, and that's rare to see. Uh, not a lot of players who are picking up the cannon pick it up for it primarily. It's usually a secondary weapon. And when they get those hits, they get one, they get two, and then they move forward. But Gucci Bo has shown yeah, he's got a few strings in his bag of tricks. And now that downlight missing means Stingray, that's twice. Oh. And he's gotten that double D-light into the double, de uh, the double side light and the double D-light side air taking him off the right side of the stage, and that's such a huge lead going yeah. into game two. My goodness. And yeah, we just saw them go out, you know, throw that little taunt, get, pick up the weapon just to get right back into this game here. But yeah, Stingray, I mean, again, we said it before, said about how you start, about how you finish. And right now, it looks like they are trying to finish this here. A pretty, a relatively healthy oh. second stock, but they are just trying to keep the damage put on. The spear combos have been Amazing. Gucci so cannot dodge out of anything from Stingray. Stingray has been mm -hmm. reading every single move that he's chosen out of hit stun. Ooh. That time, <laughs> that time it doesn't work out. But guess what? Stingray doesn't get punished for it, even though he misses. And that's what that's that's the ideal scenario when you're winning in a game of Brawl Hall. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, it definitely. Oh, ooh, it's a nice position of the turnaround here, and that's gonna close out game two. Oh. You better watch yourself. Oh my God, Stingray just continuing to body bag here. Wow, what an, what an amazing game, too. That was a, a huge turnaround to yeah, just close go, that one out. Th that weapon throw uh, into the pickup down air to secure the stock, just in case Guichibu was able to get his uh, jumps back. We're going to see it right here. The down air, Poe going off him in the middle of the guitar recovery, dodges up, does touch the wall. So Guichibu's got all of his jumps here. Weapon throw forces him down, gets him with that down air right after picking up the second weapon throw, and he can't even make it back. And now we're going to game three with Stingray up 2-0. One more of these, and he moves on in the elimination bracket. And Guichibu's, oh, there it is. <laughs> That's the combo that Remy was talking about at white. You can, okay, so at very low damage with nine decks, you could do like recovery, recovery, gravity cancel, down like recovery. And Remy was just talking to me about this. I was like, what do you get at nine decks with, with <laughs> guitars that you can really unlock here? And on Brawl Haven, that's the best stage to be laddering somebody up towards the top. Now oh, yeah. Stingray, downlight into Nair, takes him off the top, and he's going to get those guitars ready again to try and get it one more time. And we can see him here with the guitars looking to set it up. Yeah, no, definitely trying to find that opening if they can. And that's the good thing about it, too, is that even though you didn't close out oh. that stock, ooh, oh, they were looking for it. Yeah. Even though you didn't close out that stock, you put so much damage down that once you got the cannon, in hand, you were able to close out the stock as it was. Oh! Yes! Oh, that weapon throw forward was great from Stingray because I thought Guichibu was going to be able to run away with a much larger lead than that. Um, yeah, the, the D-Light Nair on Cannon, such a reliable knockout tool on this stage in particular, but Stingray with the spear, so hard to get around. Once he just hits one of those moves, weapon throw down, tries to get the Silite off the pickup, and Stingray with the Silite D-Light side air puts him into orange already. Another Silite comes through, and you can see him. He's not... After the first dash, he's just moving left and right, not putting out anything too crazy so he can react to Guichibu's movement, and he continues to put on a ton of damage. Yeah, even after a huge start from Guichibu, uh, Stingray is just really forcing this game back into their favor. Like, even though they're getting some combos, they're still finding their way out. Look at that great air dodge back to the stage, Ooh. just trying to get their footing here. And now they have center stage control. This could be huge. Moving ah. forward, and a huge sig to close out that second stock. And they are one stock away from taking this 3 0. Stingray has really been doing a great job reading Guichibu's movement options there. That's twice now that I've seen Guichibu go for this uh, jump fast fall, where Stingray covers the fast fall with the down sig on spear and takes him off the right side or left side of the stage. But a great job evening it up here. And now, last stock, uh, tournament stock, Guichibu here. He, if he goes down here, he's out of the spring championship. Stingray also trying to get him out of there. Even faster with those land snares. Yeah, Guichibu, we're going to have to see what they're made of here because this is where, you know, the greats uh, really showcase how good oh. they are. But man, trying to deal with Stingray is just a quest that cannot be completed mm. as they fall 0-3. And look at that, man. Look at that Black Knight with the Akuma stance. That's just... <laughs>
I love this game, man. The crossovers <laughs> are, are so funny. <laughs> yeah, look, we can see that right there in that replay, the combo from Grichby there. And he even went for the chase dodge to try to get the Nair off the top. But this edge guard from Stingray was fantastic. We're going to see the down sig here off of the fast spot for the dodge up. And then there's such a quick stock here, neutral light. And I think he jumps all the way up for the cider. Yeah, three jumps. Mm -hmm. Catch him all the way up there before Grichby could even think about what happened to him. And he goes down 3-0 to Stingray. Great performance from Grichibu getting in the top eight here in the Spring Championship and on a character that nobody else is playing with a playstyle where, honestly, most players in North America don't value dexterity that much yes. as a stat. And so to see somebody playing a high dex legend and then making the decks go even higher, as high as literally as high as possible in Brawlhalla, mm -hmm. uh, is so cool to see uh, in a really great performance.